Hello and welcome to the video for Thursday, April the 16th for fifth grade. This is going to cover uh, the homework problems from our lesson 9.7 where we are again working with graphing and we are taking a look at the relationship between um, ordered pairs to help us figure out what we should have for our answers. So um, I'm going to start with number two. So we are going to multiply the number of quarts here by four to give us the um, answer. Sorry for the misclick there. This thing wants to bring up the bottom <laughs> of my screen. Um, so if we keep counting by fours across here, that's going to give us 20. And I've already filled in the first four points. Actually, I filled in all five of them. Um, so our last one, we can see that we're moving in a straight uh, diagonal here. So for five quarts, we would have 20 cups. Um, number four down at the bottom, how many cups are equal to nine quarts? So this is going to continue following the same pattern. So I could keep adding to this like I'm doing right now, and that would give me 36 um, out here. Or what I can do is I know that the number of quarts times four gives me my answer. So I can do nine times four to get 36. So we did something similar to that in third grade, but we were not working that far past um, what we started with. They might ask you to give like the next one or two parts away um, instead of um, a few more than that. So number one on the back, um, the graph is already there for us. Um, so we need to figure out what the rule is. So we're going to multiply the amount of iced tea by um, a certain number to get the amount for the water. So <clears throat> we are going to do three times one, six times two. So kind of what we're doing is we're saying that we are using three tablespoons per um, cup. So we are kind of multiplying by one third. So if you want to think about it that way. So for every three of these, I'm going to use a cup of water. So if I use six, uh, excuse me, 18 teaspoons, tablespoons of iced tea mix, I can continue this pattern on the graph, or I can do 18 times one third, or I could divide by three because those essentially work out the same. And that would give us six cups of water. So apart from kind of stumbling over myself, um, to explain it, uh, this was a pretty easy lesson as far as um, the individual things that they were asking us to do. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to post in the comments for Google Classroom. Um, I think after this many lessons, this is a nice, uh, easy way to kind of finish up that idea. So um, we have a conference call again tomorrow. This is one that you are expected to check in with me. You don't have to be on the call. Um, but I do want you to at least post on the assignment uh, what you've been working on. Uh, thank you to everyone that came out for the call that was today, uh, being Wednesday, uh, as I'm recording this video. <clears throat> it was a lot of fun to see everybody. I had pe people from third, fourth, and fifth grade uh, all in there kind of uh, hanging out and talking. And uh, a couple of us were doing music-related things. And being silly and having a good time socializing. So if you haven't been in on one of these, definitely I would recommend that you do that if you're available and able to do so. Um, and if you're not, uh, do know that we miss you and it would be fun to, to spend time with you during one of those calls, but um, we understand. So just check in, let me know how you're doing, uh, especially with the math work and um, have a good day and I will see you tomorrow.